Now, Sunlam was established as a life insurance group in 1918 in Cape Town and has expanded its services to include short-term insurance, estate planning, loans, capital markets, and all forms of asset management. Yes, it has a market yeah. cap of 150 billion rand, a price-to-earnings ratio of 14.6, and a dividend yield of 3.84%. Again, let's look at Sunlam's share price graph, and, and that looks a little healthier than, than what yeah. we've seen on the old mutual yeah. side. Yeah, Sunlam, it's almost the, the opposite story of Old Mutual. So they came from very similar backgrounds, being mutual companies which demutualized and then grew from that base. And Sunlam may be taking a slightly more determined, focused, emerging markets approach to growing. So quite well represented in Africa, and they've grown by acquisition in these emerging markets. Nice business in India as well, and then some in the Pacific region, um, in Malaysia in particular. But they seem very, as I say, slow, determined to, to put their, their skills in, some management, some expertise, and, and, and almost JV in these different areas in different businesses. And it, it, it seems to be working quite well. Lance, I actually want to echo you on that. Having spent some time interviewing Ian Kirk, yes. there, there certainly is a stance that it's slowly as she yeah. goes. Um, let's make sure that the strategy yeah. is a hundred percent correct. They've got that relationship with Saham, yeah. uh, which is the North Africa insurance yes. uh, element that's also given them further traction on the African continent. But they're not doing anything in a hurry, and yeah. perhaps that's the underpin to what you were saying. Correct. So I think you you get you buy into the strategy for the long term. This is really not going to shoot the lights out. But if you prepare to be patient and stick with the stock, it rewards you for that with a decent dividend yield, which they powered once a year. But you're going to incrementally grow on that strategy. And I see a great future for the business. The, the pool of management talent is unbelievably good. Of course, they own Suntum, the ma major short-term insurer in South Africa, which has performed phenomenally. So you get a, a nice package in Suntum as well. Having heard all of that positivity, <laughs> we don't own a Sunlam. No, we don't. Um, if you look at that, that share price there, uh, the movements, uh, th th there are a few factors here. Uh, and the main factor with these, with these businesses is the underlying assets. So obviously for the big asset management businesses, they're very reliant on the movements yeah. of the market. Yeah. Um, so when you're seeing a very stagnant South African market like we have over the last two, three years, you'll see the share price almost track that directly. So it is very cyclical type businesses. The, the innovation and the movements into Malaysia, into India are certainly exciting. Um, like you mentioned, Sunlam were mm. pretty conservative where others went yeah. big, big time overseas. Yeah. They, they stayed here, didn't get their fingers burnt. And now they've seen the gap and, and the opportunity of where they want to go and, and push that, that solid model. So I do think it's a good business, but again, you, you have choices, and I'm sure we'll get to it later, but uh, I just prefer discovery in that space. Well, we're going to talk about discovery in just a moment. Taking into account what you've said, Lance, do you call this one hot at current valuation? Yes, I like this one, and uh, I think it's got a, a, a good long-term future. It's, it's one for the bottom draw, yep, could I be correct. so bold as to say? Yes, I, I think this so. This is in yeah. retirement policies yeah. in action, hot or not? It certainly will remain cyclical with the South African market, but I'll be hot on it.